A hopeful Frozen 3 theory would solve a burning Frozen franchise question while challenging a decades-long running trope that has been an object of ridicule in countless Disney animated movies. The theory has been building in anticipation of the looming Frozen 3, which has yet to get a release date, though Disney has offered a tentative 2026 release window for Anna and Elsa's next big adventure. Also left in the balance is what the threequel will be about, leaving fans to speculate or get lost in their theories on what Frozen 3's story could be. While not definite, Frozen 3 will likely piggyback on Frozen 2's events, which found Elsa and Anna leaving Arendelle to mollify the angry elemental spirits wreaking havoc on their kingdom. By the end of Frozen 2, audiences learn that Elsa and Anna's journey is not the typical hero versus villain story but a journey of self-discovery that uncovers the source of Elsa's powers and Arendelle's secret history. If Frozen 3 continues in the same manner, as a popular theory suggests, Elsa and Anna are in for an even deeper dive into who they are and where they come from. A Frozen 3 theory posits Elsa and Anna's parents are still alive. Frozen 3 could finally give more insight into Queen Iduna and King Agnar. Frozen Parents Shipwreck King Agnar Queen Iduna 1. Frozen 3 could lead Elsa and Anna to develop more insight into their parents, Iduna and Agnar. The Frozen franchise has always suggested that Iduna and Agnar died, doubling down in Frozen 2 by indicating that they succumbed to a shipwreck while out at sea searching for Atahalan, a magical river they believed would reveal the source of Elsa's powers. Although, in the sequel, Elsa and Anna witness a memory of their parents huddling together before presumably drowning at sea, optimistic fans still believe that Iduna and Agnar survived the ordeal. A persistent theory argues that Iduna and Agnar are still alive and will either return or be found in a search led by Elsa and Anna at some point during Frozen 3. Several fascinating ideas could support this theory and include but are not limited to. There is no certainty regarding whether the Frozen franchise will ever backpedal to divulge Elsa and Anna's parents' disappearance further, however, if the franchise brings itself to revive Iduna and Agnar, it would quell the theories that are rooting for Elsa and Anna's parents while pushing back on a long-standing Disney trope. Elsa and Anna's parents returning could undo Disney Animation's trope of dead parents. The trope of dead parents has existed in Disney animations for decades. Iduna cuddling Elsa and Anna as kids in bed in Frozen 2. Elsa, Anna, Simba, Bambi, Snow White, and countless more all have something in common, and it's not just that they've been the subjects of Disney's idolized animation catalog. Each one of these Disney heroes or heroines narratives is defined by having at least one parent who has died or is presumed dead at some point in the telling of their story. If the Frozen franchise surprises audiences by bringing Elsa and Anna's parents back into the fold, Frozen 3 would rectify decades of animated Disney movies that have fed into the trope of dead parents. Disney has been a perpetrator of the trope since its very first animated film, Snow White, and has continued to pursue the construct of dead parents consistently throughout the years in its movies, such as in Cinderella, 1950, The Fox and the Hound, 1981, Pocahontas, 1995, and The Princess and the Frog, 2009. The trope has shown up so much it's become the butt of jokes when describing Disney animated movies. Luckily, the Frozen franchise has flipped Disney tropes before and may use its next installment to shatter one of Disney's oldest constructs.